What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Funboxing with Will. I'm your host, Will, with H2O Co. Film and Photo right there. And uh, today we're going to be doing a review on a pocket dolly by Andover. So let's get into it. So uh, before we get into this uh, review here, I just wanted to thank all my new subscribers and if you are into tech reviews at all or overviews or anything along those lines, uh, just go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you find any of this information at all useful or want to see future content. I'm always putting out tech reviews for people on new products that I pick up because I'm a local creator here in Gilbert, Arizona and I'm always doing different projects and stuff so I'm always picking up new gear. Um, so today we're going to be doing a product review on the Andower, Andower, I believe the name is, Andower, uh, let me see if I can get that focused in there, there you go, Andower Pocket Dolly. It's actually um, really amazing. I didn't think it was going to be as sturdy as it was when I saw it online. I didn't think that it was going to be as durable or as capable as it is, but it has turned out to be a very amazing um little tool here uh, especially for some smo uh, slow motion b-roll sequences that I've put together recently uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some right now so here's some of the scenes that I've taken with it <laughs> Yeah, so um, essentially what it is, is uh, I think the price point I paid for it was uh, $59.99 on Amazon.com. And uh, what it came with was, it came with a charging cord, it came with the unit itself, and then it came with the mount here for it. And uh, the payload capacity is 6.5 pounds, which I was leery of when I first opened it up and looked at it. I wasn't sure that it would be able to hold that much weight and still move substantially, and and it does, so um, I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, I've put it together, and you can actually adjust this back piece here, so if you have a heavier camera, or if you need to angle the camera at an odd angle, pointing upwards, downwards, whatever, uh, it, it allows for that counterbalance, essentially. And so what it is, is you hook up your uh, mount to the unit itself. It's very simplistic. It comes with a remote as well in the package. And uh, essentially, these arms are fully adjustable from a 90 degree angle. And you can either have them set up straight out like that, and you can essentially just use this as a slider on any surface. Uh, or you can even throw it on a track, like some rails if you already have uh, a non-motorized slider. You can throw this on there. 
um, and it will turn the non-motorized slider into a motorized slider with the remote. It has three speeds, uh, slow, fast, and medium. Uh, there's a USB charging port on one side and an on-off switch on that same side. On the opposite side, you have your direction button, left or right, and then you have your speed button. Uh, I have noticed it's kind of strange. There's no way to turn it on unless you have the remote, so I would suggest Velcroing it to something or putting a strap on it or something so you do not lose that remote because from what I gather You cannot turn it on or off without the remote So that's kind of a downside to it, but uh, barring that it seemed to hold up on any camera I've put on it so far uh, the three I've used so far are my T7i my EOS M50 and my GoPro which obviously it's gonna hold a GoPro, but um, it works very well and if you're not just trying to do a straight side-by-side -side slide, you can actually also pivot these legs into like a circular area. It's what I like to call the point of interest shot. And uh, say you have something like a camera or an object of any type that you're trying to focus on, you can just attach your camera to this, set it up with these arms slightly angled, and uh, through some experimenting to see the, the pitch that you're gonna get, you just turn it on and it, and it follows the object as you saw in that video clip that I, I just gave you guys uh, that it'll actually follow the object pretty smoothly and it'll uh, keep its focus on that object. Now as an alternative to a motorized slide with track, uh, the track and all that, I, this is a great deal. Like I said, this was only $59 and you can go for 49 bucks and get cheap sliders like the rails that aren't motorized and hell I'm pretty sure if you went down to Home Depot or Lowe's you could probably pick up some PVC pipe or some aluminum pipe or copper piping and make your own slider for much less than that so uh, put those two things together and then you throw this on there and you can have a professional grade slider uh, I'm gonna be using it in a lot of b-roll especially my slow motion stuff and I find that the more I use it, the more I want to use it, just because of how neat it is and the kind of versatile shots you can get with it. So um, my rating on it would be a 5 out of 5 stars if I was going to rate it. I think it's a good investment, and it's something that I'm going to be carrying in my gear bag with me from here on out, wherever I go. So, uh, yeah, and that's about it for today. Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys again for uh, subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be releasing a What's in My Gear Bag video here pretty soon, if anybody's interested on that. It's going to just be an overview of my travel bag, and when I go out to a job, like the minimalistic tools that I bring to make sure that I can get those shots locked in. So uh, until next time, I hope you guys stay creative and have a great day, my friends.